and welcome to Backseat Gamer, Have It In A Way. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forgione. Have It In A Way? Isn't That's right. it Have It Your Way? No, Have It In A Way. And Jason Amherst. I'm more a fan of old-fashioned Hergus Burgess. I bet. In any oh, event... Shit. It's Project Warlock 2, baby. That's right. Uh, we're playing... Uh, last year, about this time, we played the first game. Played it all the way through. Beat it. Had a lot of fun with it. So, uh, we knew eventually we were going to get to this one. Uh, it was only a matter of time. It is time for Project Warlock 2. <laughs> Project Warlock 2. Oh, I got a character selection. That's nice. Oh, those are the chapters. Oh, I see. Chapter one, Palmer. He has a Claymore sword. Oh, okay. Nope. He has a Claymore sword, a staff, a super shoddy, a rifle, and a kennel. Abilities. Uses magic and firearms at equal rate. Can create magic replicas of his weapons and use them as akimbo guns. Interesting. Uh, by Biografa. Palmer is a fanatical follower of his master and wants to follow in his footsteps and fight him. His, his oh. master name was Emerson Lake. Ha! Ha ha ha. We are warlocks. We traverse time and universe looking for wisdom and power. Some time ago, our master talked about going on a crusade against evil, and shortly thereafter, he disappeared. Palmer. All right. Well, that's, that's Wait, wonderful. Wait, they go across time and... So are you? Are we honestly sure these are not Time Lords? I I don't, right? I don't know. Could be. Aim one. Aim one. Whoa! Shit! Right off the bat. Yep. No high. No honey. When you get a minute, just enemies oh, uh, from the sky. You can jump in this one, which you couldn't do in the first game. I actually thought you could oh. jump in the first nope. game, but... First game mm. was more like a Wolfenstein-like. This is more like a Quake-like. Sword. Yep. I have a sword. I got bullets. Sword. I have sword. I am... I am... I am Drew McIntyre. <laughs> I have picked up a Claymore. <laughs> I'm Palmer Belmont. Uh, DM hunk. Ooh. Drew McIntyre is Scottish daddy. I uh, I want to put my jump on. I I did like. Uh, there we go. CM Punk's observation of him, uh, where uh, he he took a screenshot of uh, Drew McIntyre scowling and went. Is it just me, or is he just Scottish Sam the Eagle? <laughs> You're oh, all weirdos. I, I didn't save my preferences. Hold on a sec. I, I oh, was there's just an like, alternative attack, though. I better keep it on space. The CM Punk with the Muppets reference. Beautiful. It's true. I mean, he also referenced Drake and Kendrick Lamar and Jack Perry. <laughs> speaking of speaking of Drake and Kendrick Lamar, there's apparently some sort of beef going on between That's Kendrick that, and... Yeah. It hints, why, it hints the references. Those are the two most inoffensive rappers in the world, and they're having beef, apparently? I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I, I barely pay attention to that sort of stuff anyway. So. Uh, me meanwhile, like, uh, Jack Perry's got a new uh, shirt that looks almost satanic. It's got, like, a goat on it because you know, he's the scapegoat. And mm. uh, blood is coming down from the eyes, pulling down into, like, a death metal-like font that spells out Cry me a river. I need the red key. Interesting. Yeah, I know. It is quite the metal shirt. Let's... 
Let me see. Uh, and, and AEW found a way to drag me back to watching it again just by saying two words. Uh, War games. Yeah. <laughs> Close. Suck it. Stadium Stampede. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they're they're, I... they're bringing back the uh, the stadium match again. Sweet, cry me a river. Let's see this. Oh, it's a House of Torture shirt. Yeah, this wouldn't be out of place in a death metal show. Not too bad. Yeah. Yeah, Anarchy you... in the Arena is back, uh, and it's going to be the new elite of uh, the Young Cucks. Uh, Jack Perry and Kazuchika Okada versus FTR, Eddie Kingston, and Brian Danielson. Who's the fourth? Oh, wait, no, FTR is the tag. I'm silly today. Also, uh, AEW announced a uh, collaboration with uh, the uh, brand U2s for their off-brand pop figurines. I was going to say, aren't you two literally just we have pop figures at home? Yeah, they're, they're pop figures with more uh, personality because they don't have those soulless eyes and big nice. bobbleheads. Uh, all we can see are some silhouettes, but from what I can tell of the silhouettes, we got uh, Timeless Tony Storm, MJF, Orange Cassidy, and somebody with long hair, I'm going to assume will God probably be Jericho. All right, there we go. Also, Adam Copeland is finally in AEW Fight Forever, except they couldn't get the rights to his song. <laughs> Whoops. Instead, it's some original piece of music called Land of Cope. Here All today, DLC, I look fondly. <laughs> <laughs> All that money I for DLC, the... you couldn't even get the music. <laughs> I also believe Smojo was part of the DLC. Yep, Smojo... Uh, and, uh, Switchblade. Switchblade? Yeah, little cutie. <laughs> Hot trap, pooping in a movie? What? <laughs> you heard me. I don't think I spoke another language, Mr. Riley. Oh. What? Destructible object. Oh. Oh, you found the secret. Yeah, the uh, the the health meter for destructible object kind of gave it away. Gave it away. Yeah, it gave it away now. What I got, you gotta give it to your mama. What I got, you gotta give it to your papa. Give it to your papa. What I gotta gotta give it to your dog. And you do a little dance and you drink a little water. What I got. You got to get and put it in you. What I'd like Where's is that Wilma? I'd like to... Anybody? What I'd like is Where's that I'd like Wilma? to hug and kiss Anybody's you. Anybody's seen Mm-hmm. Hey, listen. Mo the bartender got them to change their lyrics. He did. So. Or was it Krusty? Yeah, no, it was Mo. Because it was during the time he was... It was Flaming Mo's. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes, Chase. Yes, Chase. How, how, how can we help you? I'm, I'm going to share it in, in the Facebook chat. I don't like the sounds of this. Uh, you, 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 y'all, y'all will get a good laugh out of this one. Okay. 
I'm no waiting. simping. <laughs> I'm waiting your rapt anticipation. <laughs> ah, God. No simping. Fact. So, duh. Dog. 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 So, s hey, slow hey, down, hey. slow down, okay? Oh, that's it, you son of a bitch. Punch. <laughs> Act. Fact. Fact. Ah, oh, that's it, you son of a bitch. <laughs> slow, Joe. <laughs> so. I got another Doctor Who uh, Blu-ray set at Barnes and Noble, and the guy behind the counter was like, "You know what? Since you got this, I have something for you." And he turns around and he grabs this Doctor Who 60th anniversary poster thing, and it's all the Doctors standing in like a V formation. It's pretty cool. Nice. And it's apparently "quote unquote" laser signed by David Tennant. Ooh. So uh, Microsoft made an ass out of themselves. Let me do this time. Well, uh, you know how they shut down. Uh, it wasn't just two game studios. It was actually a total of four. Technically. Well, that son mm -hmm. of a bitch. But, but shortly after shutting down those four studios, one of which was Tango Game Studios, the people behind uh, Hi-Fi Rush, they were like, we need indie games like Hi-Fi Rush that are award winners uh, on our platform. Hmm. Then why did you just fucking fire them all? Um, cost cutting, I guess. This is this is why mergers and acquisitions are horrible. R wrist cutting, <laughs> wrist slashing. Somebody cut my fucking wrist, please cut my fucking wrist. I mean, h how much did they fucking spend on Activision Blizzard King, and then they're like, <laughs> "Oh, we spent too much money." Looks like uh, because these games didn't sell too well, we're gonna have to lay people off and close studios. We're gonna Jeez, have to lay people. They they sound like freaking, you know, EA ten years ago. Your game didn't sell eleven billion uh, copies in the first month. Oh, oh no. I guess we're gonna have to close you. Well, I found a secret, I guess. I don't know what good... Oh, I see. Never mind. Secret is secret. It's a superstar. You're going to be invisible. <laughs> I, was say, I, think it, I think it was just a stat point. Like, Much like the first game, you can upgrade things. Nice. And well, a perk point. Cool. Leave it to Mike to make the joke more. Like, um, that's a stat point, you fucking um, idiot. I'm pooping. <laughs> I don't know why I said that like that. Um, um, actually, oh, you fucking oh, fell oh, the step point. Why does it keep showing me the. a bar for a destructible object and I don't see one? I also need health, like, bad. <laughs> I think I know where to get some, though. This armor, I get that at least. Aha! Needed that. Pretty sure there's another one back this way that I didn't grab. There you know, go. here's a cool little touch is uh, at the lower left hand part of the screen is your character Palmer looking around, and it does remind me of Castle Wolfenstein. A little bit. For, like, 
Or do. He's got the shifty eyes. Super shoddy. Boom. Oh my god, that's that's good so good. Lord. You you evaporated. Yeah. Oh man. That's such Ooh. a good shoddy. Also, I, I do like that the uh, the enemies have health meters there. Yeah, they did that in the first game too. I just didn't turn the option on for that until almost the very end of the game. <laughs> oh right, I remember. Yeah, here it came turned on, so I was like, "All right, I'll just leave it." That it helps. came turned on. It had a it had a bomb. Yeah. <sighs> you don't if you don't if you come not turned on, then it's just a wet noodle. Or it could be like die. that song. I'd. It could be like that song. I didn't mean to turn you on. Which actually, uh, ironically, by a guy named Robert Palmer. Yeah. Very much so. I said don't think twice. Oh, I needed that. I was only trying to be nice. Only trying to be nice. Oh. I didn't mean to turn. How many fucking pig demons are there? Jesus Christ. Dude, I have 20 health. A cab. Well, this game is definitely not uh, fucking around. I'm going to have to take a little damage to get that. As they like to say. Yeah. Definitely just throws you into the thick of it. The Alan thick of it? No. Dead. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> ben. Ben. My son's a fucking loser, Ben. My son is a fucking sexist pig. He's a, he's a sex offending prick, Ben. Ben. Also, I, also, I died during a hockey game, Ben. Oh, jeez. I got pucked in the mouth, Ben. <laughs> it's true. Look at that. And oh. that is now the title of this episode. Pucked in the mouth. Correct. Only if you add the Ben. Ben. <laughs> pucked in the mouth, Ben. Uh. Oh, yep, he collapsed while some... playing ice hockey with his son, Carter. Terrible. Uh, well, at least it wasn't with his son, Robin. Then he was too busy. Blurred lines. And... He was too busy grinding on uh, women. Yeah. And didn't want to half, half naked women in his music videos. Blah, blah. God damn. Oh, headshots count. That's good to know. Do you I remember when that song was everywhere. Oh god, yes. I remember when the song and got like, like banned from yeah. radio play cuz it was just so it it's it's a little rapey. It honestly oh. I really I didn't even think it was that good of a song anyway. I agree. The best part of the song is Pharrell, and he's not even that great on it. No, it's true. Pharrell's had much better songs. Uh, Happy, for one. Oh, damn it. Pharrell's not, I mean, Pharrell still has a career. Yeah. Huh. Also, his collaboration with Daft Punk. We're going to rip our life to get. We're going to rip our life to get. Damn, I've already killed a hundred monsters. Wow. You know, I knew somebody who I knew somebody, I won't say their name, who was adamant that Daft Punk was Daft Punk was saying we're up on Mexicans. <laughs> if, we're up on Mexicans. If you listen to the if you listen to the beat swap version, which is on YouTube somewhere, it's they swap the second and fourth yeah. beats of everything, and then you turn on the subtitles. Uh, the the robot part, the bridge, <laughs> it's subtitled "We rob Mexicans all night. We rob Mexicans all night." Oh, Senor, that's horrible. Why would you do that? That is that is the inverse of uh, stereotyping. 
<laughs> I mean, why would you want to rob a Mexican? Please don't we, do that. We don't In have fact, anything don't we're any taking. Well, I, I wasn't going to say that. I, I meant, like, you know, just don't rob anybody in general. Yeah, that that's fair. Thank you, Pedro. Yo, you're welcome. Now it's time for siesta. You're 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 crazy. Yo, fuck off, imp. That's what you get. Siesta, siesta. All right, I have. More health than I did the last time I finished all that. Now that I know that headshots count, I'm aiming for the head. Get. Oh, Jesus. Ow, Jesus. Uh, my son, I'm not even touching. What's the matter? <laughs> Oh, or, or just ignore the Son of God, you know, that, that, that works too. I... I do. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, you're agnostic. I don't talk to fictional characters. <laughs> <laughs> you're telling me there's stuff in the Bible that didn't exist? You oh, get the no. hell out of town. I said hell out of town. No, I'm 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 less Oh no, I'm part of the problem. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> How could wait. you? Wait, wait, just a gosh, dingle dang a minute now. Are you saying that the world didn't flood for forty days, forty nights? It's it is and quite that some possible. guy. Oh, and and furthermore, some guy named Noah. Didn't take two of every animal on an ark? <sighs> it was some guy cosplaying in a swimming pool. I gotta get mm. out of here. I'm about to die. I need health. Is there health? Health, please? I picked up all the health. health. Fuck. Fuck off. Uh, okay, I might be able to deal with them better in an open area. Invasive, invasive maneuvers. Strategic retreat! Yeah, basically. Strategic, I just blew your fucking head off. I just blew your fucking brain down. Ben! <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. So easy. Ooh, ah. This is beyond basic. Oh Christ! Like a bottleneck, <gasps> bottleneck blitz, bottleneck blitz. It's, it's a bottleneck blitz. It's it's a ballroom tits. It makes my ballroom itch. I was I was watching, well, well, listening to rather at work. I was listening to the Super Dave Osborne cartoon. Oh fuck! And I forgot how actually kind of clever that cartoon was. Too bad it only lasted one season. They're being really stingy with the health right now. I remember that cartoon though. I do remember that cartoon. Okay, Super. Well, Super Dave Osborne kind of... He was kind of the OG John Laronitis. I'm afraid. I only have 13 health. Okay, now I have 18 health. That is not much better. I don't like the noises this room is making. Go ahead, come on out here. I got a, I got an explosive little surprise for you. It's explosive diarrhea. Yeah. That's right. 
I just blew your fucking ass up. Enjoy death. Come on, idiot. Yeah. Strategery. I really need... Is that, where is the health? My god. You know, it's actually kind of funny. There's a, there's a health right there. Oh, yeah, right next to a fucking another pig demon. No, it's a bony. It's actually... No, that's the pig I, demon. I mentioned, oh, I mentioned Super Dave Osborne. Me, me and Jace were actually talking about that during one of Jace's old streams where something really fucking wacky happened that Jace actually clipped. I think it was a, it was during Smash Brothers and Donkey Kong. The Donkey Kong AI killed itself. I vaguely remember that. Well, I just remember you found it absolutely fucking hysterical that the AI just went... <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Rapidoo! Uh, fuck this shit, I'm out. DK killed himself. Conky Dong. <laughs> DK, huh? Chunky's dead. Donkey Kong is Donkey Gone. You can sunk his Donkey Dong. And then there's Chunky, he's dead. Bill Nye died. Bill Nye died. Bill, 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 Bill. Die, 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 die. <laughs> you must die. That's my favorite part of that is die, 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 die. He's that <laughs> character from <laughs> Zelda over he and over again. He did say die a lot. He did. Yeah, it was, it was, uh... It was uh, Ganon, right? Who said, like, you must die. Must have been. Yep. I, don't, I don't remember. I never played the CDI ones. It was... Yeah, it was Ganon. Okay. Yeah. He looks different The other thing that game. they would slice is uh, uh, the, uh, the die part of Islands of Koradai. Squalala, we are real. <laughs> Rope, lamp oil, bombs. You want it, you got it. As long as you have the ruby. This is illegal, you know. <laughs> uh, I really do need to play RZ eventually. I What you really like is to... For somebody to track down those voice actors who did that and just be like, what the fuck was that like? <laughs> I mean, technically they did track them down for RZ. Oh, really? They got a couple of the voice actors from the original CDI games back for RZ. As long as they got back the, oh, my kids will win. <laughs> oh, I needed that. Come on, princess. How about a kiss for good luck? Oh, shit balls. Link, it's 2024. Um... You fucking neckbeard incel nice guy. Well, excuse me, slut. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, excuse me. <laughs> well, Zelda, you're just a whore for leading me on. The whore. You, you, go, you go for chads like Ganon. <laughs> well, nice guys like me get nothing. Charlie, where are the horns, Charlie? <laughs> I was actually, it's, I was actually reading a post where it's like, I, I wonder if incels are furious that Danny DeVito actively fucks. Like, they live in a world where they get nothing, <laughs> and Danny DeVito has sex a lot. <laughs> it's because he dropped his monster condom for his magnum dong. I think dong. <laughs> Everybody knows he's that. got a kickstand, and now it's just kind of like he can't, he's, he can't stop the pussy from rolling right in, you know? You want to talk goo goo time? That's right. He has a lot of it. His, his, his monster condom for his magnum. Yeah, he has a He has a clock at his house that all, constantly says it's goo goo time. <laughs> I 
I got a hundred headshots. You know That's what? Crazy. As, as long as if if Borderlands is successful in theaters, as long as they can get Danny DeVito for Typhon De Leon in the sequel, I will be happy. Because that role was meant for him. You know, I will say that, and I will also add, if they ever do a Super Mario World sequel, Danny DeVito as Warrior, or we riot. Oh, Jolly, yes. I yeah. missed. Although, uh, as, as unlikely as it is, I also want Dan Housen for Waluigi. Yes, yes, very good, very evil. I'm just Luigi's twin, evil twin. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, you give Wario money? You give Waluigi fame? <laughs> hmm? Yes. Hmm? I have my uh, Waluigi, very nice, very evil. Did you know Dan Housen has his own coffee brand? Did you know that? I feel like, Jace, you told me that you tried Dan Housen's coffee at one point or another. Oh, I, I want to try it. Because both him and Malachi Black have their own coffees from different companies. I would... You know, I'm not even but a Dan Housen, Dan Housen's has the great name of Dan Housen Coffee Housen. Right. I don't know if I would he, try Alistair Black's coffee, because I hear in the bottom of the cup there's always a black mass. Goodbye. You can do the rest of this episode yourself. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why? Because I was slow clapping? No. No, no I, I, I just did the reaction I thought you would have. <laughs> That's usually what you do. You're like, goodbye. Uh, you guys can do the rest yeah, of the it's, uh, it's, Honestly, that joke it, wasn't... It's Malachi Black Coffee, and it is cinnamon and vanilla. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, Jason. I, Dan know, was about to compliment my joke. Go, go right ahead. I will... A, a joke that Mike or Jace or Billy or Ashley says has to be really like cringeworthy. Oh shit! To, like, I the kid, depth of my, to the depths of my soul, in order to get a that's it, I'm leaving. That joke was just like it was. It wasn't bad. So I was. Hey, leave. all right. I appreciate so, uh, that. The, the name of the company is Dead Sled Coffee. And uh, they have other uh, other ones such as Bloodbath Blend, um, which is Colombian coffee infused with chocolate and cherries, hmm. and Vincent Price Pumpkin Spice. <laughs> I want all of you to try my coffee or I'll kill you. Holy shit, I actually got all the kills. That's crazy. Who is that? Who is this insanely ripped person here? Uh, it's just a a thing uh, representing a, a, a demon that I kill, and it just well, is showing the accuracy. That thing is ripped, ripped like Jesus. Yep. Oh, more like uh, more like anti Jesus. <laughs> true, true. Most of my most of my shots it hit the upper chest. It looks like. Some of the shots went dangerously close. A lot of shots to... around the thighs. Yeah. No. Uh, Anybody's not shooting people in the bars. God damn it, Kyle. <laughs> oh, hamburgers. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh, by golly. Damn Buster Prince. Uh, that, that was literally an entire episode wait, where... No, uh, wait, a, wait a second here. Wait a second. They have VHS in this place? I guess. Nice. Huh. Th there was that whole episode where uh, Cartman uh, dresses up as a... Uh, uh, Cartman and uh, Butters dress up as offensive Chinese stereotypes and hold a Chinese restaurant hostage. And uh, Butters has a gun and he keeps shooting people in the nuts. 
Wow, that's um, sounds about sounds about on brand for South Park. The David Butter stop shooting people in the balls. No hamburgers. Yeah. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh. Ooh, heavy ammo. Oh, jeez. Oh, like so I wonder if heavy, heavy, hammy Evo. Yeah, sure. Hmm. Heavy ammo is like heavy rain. Jason. 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 Why are you saying your own name? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I was calling out for another Jason. Hey, every. Hey, guess what, everyone? Spoiler alert. Jason dies in that oh, game. No. I, was, I was calling out for another Jason like Statham or uh, Sudeikis. He was calling out for Jason Momoa. There we go. Jason! Aquaman 2 sucked. But it wasn't your fault. True, true. It wasn't your fault. It sucked, but it wasn't your fault. I just think it's funny that he might wind up going back to DC anyway because they want him to play Lobo. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, paint him up in corpse paint. There was actually, there was a, a fan-made film. Uh, it was something to do with the Easter Bunny wanting Lobo to kill Santa. Huh. Uh, that sounds on brand. Whoever they got to play Lobo was yeah. very good at it. Oh, who this? Oh. <laughs> oh no, <What>? suddenly, <laughs> I am so sick. I guess I'm going to go there. Ala, ala. And me ala. without my soundboard because I'm stuck at work. Jesus! There were five of them. Oh. There were five of this them. Looks, I mean, this I've, looks I've got other, in. I've got other sounds, but. Dog. Oh. <laughs> this looks fancy and somewhat Duke Nukemish. Project Warlock 2. I've never heard of Project Warlock 2, so I'm going to be in for it. Well, you heard of something. Project well, Warlock well, 1, right? Project Warlock 1 last year. Yeah. No, no, I have not. I'm you were there you for were some of it. I was? Yes. Wow. Huh. I can't remember. I'm sorry. I just woke up from a nap. I finally have my tooth. I just my tooth. woke up from a crap. If I passed out while taking a shit, I have Then problems. you're Elvis. <laughs> oh, damn, man. But there's a difference. Push... Elvis didn't wake up. There's a peanut butter and banana I'm sandwich pushing too hard, toilet. man. Oh, baby, I'm pushing too hard, man. Peanut butter and banana sandwich in the toilet. Well, actually, it's... it's, it's Those it's, will it's, definitely it's, constipate you. Yeah. If you so eat a peanut butter and banana sandwiches... You were I got, be ate it, and then like I a... took a giant shit, and then it came out looking like it went in. Oh, 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 oh dildos! Oh my God! That's cool. There's so Ooh, many enemies uh, everywhere. How about some blue suede poo? Oh, oh. you can do anything, but stay off of my blue suede poo. It smells, baby. Ooh, nobody gives a shit. Wow, half of your face is so fucked up. I kind of like that little animation. Doom related. I love it. I love it. I love it. So you love it. Is that what you're trying to tell me? No, I think she's yes. saying she loves it. Oh, okay. I, I, it wasn't actually very Fuck. clear. Killed by a bony. Ra, 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 Rasputin, Russia's greatest love machine. Killed by Bony, by Bony. Leave me alone. I was, I was, I was, so I was waiting for been, that. How's it been, boys? Oh, nice ceiling clipping there, asshole fucker. Ass fuck. Get out of here. Asshole Ass fucker? Just clipping your head right through the goddamn ceiling. 
Serenity now. Insanity. No insanity Jesus. now. Jesus. There was 75 of them. <laughs> yeah. There's way more than five of them. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, like I said, this game is not fucking around. If you've played Project Warlock like 1, it. Project Warlock this 1, and I have, this is a much different experience already. It feels a little more uh, fr frenetic. Because I'm trying oh. to remember Project Warlock 1, and it's just, I'm having a hard time trying to it was, pull it up. It was more I... wo uh, Wolfenstein-ish, where you couldn't even jump, whereas you can in this game. Oh, so they gave you the Jefferson's treatment. So they became a black sick dog? Yes. We it's were more moving like... on up to the east side. To a deluxe apartment in the sky. Yeah, which I believe just means you're dead. A deluxe apartment in the sky would just be, you know, heaven. We finally got a piece of the finally got a piece. We finally got a piece of the pie. Well, there was a there was a rap song a couple of years ago that sampled that line, just going finally got a piece of the. So, yeah. Oh boy. What's wrong, Scott? Back to it. Just some bonies. It is. I mean, this. Ooh. I will say this is running, like it's very smooth running, but it's very frenetic. Oh Christ! Like it's, it's. You could feel the chaos. Is that dude's name Budgemon? Are you a Digimon, my dude? Gotta, gotta catch a ball, that's, Budgemon. That's yeah. That's Pokemon. Digimon is like Digimon, digital, digital monsters. monsters. Stone bombs at my crack. I understand the difference between Digimon and Pokemon. I was just making a Pokemon joke. You fucking pudding of a woman, you. You oh. are... Fuck. Hey, Dane, another good one in the uh, Facebook chat. You are a cornbread eating whore, and I miss you. That's that's totally not creepy or anything. I missed you once by the mall. I missed you with every bullet so far. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of malls, there's been a mall shooting oh, at a mall demon. that I used to frequent a lot in Indiana. Uh, so this is this is a mess. AEW is where the best wrestle. Oh, that explains why you haven't wrestled yet. Oh, oh. oh, 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 oh. It's it's bug so, demon. I uh, my my brain inverted the D and the G, so it's, it's it turned out to be Budgimon in my head. Budgimon. Oh, Son yeah. of a people bitch! Need to, people Budgimon. need to stop having shootouts in places where I like to go. If you could stop just shooting each other in public, that would be terrific. <laughs> you know, never mind, never mind. Uh... Sensible gun control. Let's let's draft the. Oh no! It, believe it you me. It could be Ashley Miller film. Like believe you me, Indiana, not just Indiana. There's a lot of places in the U.S. that have unsensible gun laws, and it it's just fucking nuts. Welcome to the political hour with uh, Ashley Miller. It's just so, it's, it's really, I just don't understand why people have to do that shit, though. How could just, we be talking about me. gun laws during a game where I keep blowing people's heads off? Well, there's a difference. You're fighting demons, and this is fictional. Like, if anyone's going to walk around with something like that in real life, and, and they can't tell the difference between a video game character, like a demon with boobies and whatever the fuck you just killed, then they don't need to have a gun. At that point, I don't even think they would need Jesus. They just need fucking therapy. The rapey. Um, the flucky? 
Ha. Somebody's doing the raping. Mm. Uh, wah, wah, wah. At least they used to. Well, I am so sorry that I can't remember the first game. Like, I believe Oops. you. I believe you. If I was involved in some recordings. It's just, I'm... I'm... I haven't been on this in so long, so it's like... Yes, that is true. Ashley hasn't been here in a while. It's like, I've been busy lifting and pushing things. I think you've missed almost the entirety of Doom 3, because we played through that. <laughs> I know. And I'm sure you guys have picked shows. some games in, in, the, in the roulette that... It's like, oh, Ashley would have liked this. Too bad. Well, we haven't picked any games. They're all randomly selected. Although there are... Well, you know cast, what I mean. There are cast choice spaces on the wheel now. It's never landed on one yet, but there are, they're there. Oh, so there's a cast... Oh, that's... Uh, yeah, that's there's a, it's a Mike's choice, Dane's choice, etc., etc. So if it lands on that, whoever space it is, they get to pick the game that comes next from the from whatever games are on the wheel. That's... That's actually that's nice. Yes, that's that's a and nice I assume because we're going to be recording an N sixty four roulette uh, on a I believe next Thursday. You'll you'll be there for that probably. Yes, yes. And I don't have anything special coming up, so yeah, yeah. Huh. Oh, I need the yellow key for that. All right. Oh, it's right here. So, uh, Jay. Or is he is he doing his his guard duty duty? I'm like half alive right now because I've only got like less than four hours of sleep and I've been up since like four thirty a.m. So well, Jesus. If I knew if I knew where you were working, I would door dash. I'm working a double. I've got the caffeine right now, too, on top of it all. Do you have a sandwich? Sometimes you got to have a sandwich with oh, your yeah, coffee. Peanut butter I, 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 if, I, if I had anything else right now, I probably would feel more tired. Oh, no. Well, I wanted to tell you, because I told Mike, uh, and Dane hasn't heard about this yet, but um, I met an, an, a former SNL cast member recently. Uh, let me guess. Fred Armisen? Yeah. <laughs> you know, the She's guy really that you're, cute. the guy that you talk about constantly. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd swear she'd want to own him. He's actually really nice, and he had a really good He's show in Indianapolis. He's a gentle lover. Stop it. He, he cried in the middle of it. Oh, no, I I finally decided to hit the fuck it button at the last minute. I got I was able to find a ticket to go see him. She and the, it was actually she hit the oh, fucking really. button and she fucked it mask. But um yeah, like he had a it I would explain it as like a variety show because there was music and there was comedy. And it was actually really good and I enjoyed it. He did some some improvised stuff with the crowd, and uh, he even did like a Q and A. And I asked a question about the uh, drum kit that is featured on Late Night with Seth Meyers because it seems like each season they change the drum kit out. And I'm like, "What do you guys do with the old one?" And he's like, "Well, we don't buy the drum kits. the The music companies like you know Ludwig and Zildjian, they." loan us the drum kits to feature for that season and then once they're done and once we're done we send it back to them. and I'm like oh I thought you guys like maybe bought them and donated them to like a charity or something for like a charity benefit or whatever and he's like no we don't we don't do charity but he was saying it in, in the tone no, of like we don't hey, do charity no no but the tone was kind of like the the way that he is on late night where he's like, I'm going to turn this into a bit and make it funny. 
and it, I haven't laughed so hard in a long time. And he's like, no, I, I get what you mean. No, we don't buy the drum kits. We aren't able to, to put them in like a charity auction or anything. They're loners and we send them back. And it was so sweet of him. And I got to meet him after the show. And I also met his opener, which he was really good too. And um, like, I, I will say out of all of the the comics and I would say that I've seen he is the easiest as as far as like approachability goes because of how nice and down to earth he is and he's even told people on podcasts like if you ever want to meet someone that that you really like as far as like a, a comic or a musician don't be nervous like just just be yourself and if you're nervous don't worry about it like he was really really pants, nice it's okay oh no i i don't no no uh but no it was it I was a great I don't show pee in my pants i pee in your pants well of course you have extra absorbency um goodbye <laughs> <laughs> there it is that's what the the <laughs> That's the thing I was waiting for. Goodbye. You can do this. You can do this episode right. yourselves. Because I'm too much and of a bitch to keep, to keep doing it. And it's the bit where Dane, where Dane walks away. Oh, my God. He did it again. <laughs> he hammers the shit into the ground. <laughs> This joke is so goddamn old, it will collect social security. Security? <laughs> because my teeth fell out. Because oh. it's so goddamn old. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was that was a nice experience that I had, and I hope to see like his playset. Or his playlist show. It's a little different than his comedy show. I would see his comedy show again, but I want to give it a little bit of space. You know, and not see it like back to back to back. I want to give it a little bit of space. I think yeah. if I saw a comedian live, I'd want to see Christopher Titus. That's a good choice. He he does still do shows, and I think he did like a show or two in Fort Wayne a little while ago. So yeah, I know he's I, still active. I, I know he's still active because I uh, I see his stuff posted on YouTube from time to time because he <laughs> actually like will post the full blown comedy specials on there. A lot of comics have been doing that, and I love it. I love it for the fact that. I don't know if it's like a strategic thing or if it's just like a, hey, a ticket master is going to fuck over some people. Let me let me just post a, the, the comedy special. Like, I know Randy Feltface has done it. Yeah. That's another comic I really like seeing live. And I got to meet the puppeteer, like Stan's puppet. He's so Speaking tiny. Speaking of puppets, uh, I, I would love to meet Arlo. The YouTuber. Arlo P. Arlo? No, I'm just kidding. <coughs> it's, uh, Arlo the Not a Muppet. Why do I feel like I've seen Arlo the Doer? Like, it's sounding familiar, but it's like the brain's just like. He's, nah. a, he's a blue. He's a blue puppet YouTuber who mostly talks about Nintendo stuff and other video game related things. Oh, he sounds like he'd be fun. Yeah, he 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 mostly does appearances at conventions. So uh, I I love uh, I love his uh, spicy take salad. Oh, this looks like a it. uh, this looks like it's probably going to be a battle arena of some sort. As I bet, as it soon hurt. as I pick up the mega armor, something's going to come out at me. Oh well, look yep. at that! It's a fucking oh my god. That's a, a turbo turbo turbo. That's a lot of health. That's a lot of health. Oh Jesus! It's got rockets. Oh fuck me! Well, I mean, couldn't get to the fucking health. It wouldn't fast be enough. very terrible without the rockets. Dead, dead, dead. 
When did it's I like one or two shotgun shells. He's on his ass and then just kips up and is just like, uh, shotgun, meat, fucking missile. Shotgun. So it wouldn't that be turbo be without the rockets. <laughs> Thank Thanks for joining us for this edition of Mike's a Dick. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Fortune, Jason Amherst, and Ashley Miller, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Backseat Dickery. Dickery-doo. Dickery-doo. Au revoir.